Hi, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my channel, Physics from 5 KSSM. Today, I want to discuss 3.2 Resistance Part 1. In this video, I will discuss uh, learning standard, compare and contrast ohmic and non-ohmic conductor. Okay, first of all, let's look at Ohm's law. What is stated by Ohm's law? According to Ohm's law, the electric current I flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to potential difference across it if the temperature and other physical conditions are constant. Based on this Ohm's law, we can derive a formula that relates between current and potential difference. Potential difference also known as voltage. So the potential difference V is equals to IR is coming from the Ohm's law I directly proportional to potential difference of voltage V. So we get this equation. Later, we can, pr we can uh, produce uh, this formula throughout an experiment. V here is potential difference of voltage, I is current, and R is equals to resistance. Based on the formula V equals to IR, we can apply this formula for calculation problems. V equals to I times R. If we want to determine I, I equals V divided by R. And we want to determine R is equals V divided by I. In this topic of electricity, you must be able to identify symbol for a device. Something like emitter, voltmeter, connecting wire, resistor, battery or dry cell, switch, conductor, bulb, rheostat. So we can use the symbol when we draw electrical circuit. For example, this is electrical circuit. So you can see this is a battery or dry cell. X is resistor, B is voltmeter that connected in parallel. Same thing, this is a battery or dry cell. Emitter, this is resistor, so emitter connected in series. Okay, now you can refer to experiment 3.1. This experiment is to prove the Ohm's law or to produce relationship between current and potential difference. Inference, potential difference across a conductor depends on current flowing through it. Hypothesis, the higher the current, the higher the potential difference across the conductor. Aim of this experiment is to study relationship between current and potential difference of an ohmic conductor and non-ohmic conductor. So we straight away carried out this activity to differentiate between ohmic conductor and non-ohmic conductor. Variable, manipulated variable is current I. Responding variable, potential difference V. Constant variable, temperature. And physical condition just now means diameter and length of constant and wire. Apparatus required 1.5 volt dry cell, cell holder, switch connecting wires, emitter, voltmeter, meter root, rheostat, constant and wire, SWG24, 20 cm length. For aim of this experiment, to study relationship between current and potential difference, manipulated variable current, responding variable potential difference, fixed variable length of conductor, diameter wire, and temperature. For apparatus, okay, this one we have discussed before. So I hope you understand eh, what is the meaning of SWG24. For SWG24 means standard wire gauge represent diameter wire. So we can use this label eh, to represent the thickness of diameter wire. The bigger the value of the SWG, the smaller the diameter. For example, SWG24 okay, is thicker than SWG30. Okay, the bigger the value, the smaller the diameter. Okay. Okay, setup of apparatus. We can draw a circuit like this to show the arrangement of apparatus. You can see this is a dry cell, 1.5 volt. Switch, emitter, constant and wire. Across constant wire, we connect to a voltmeter, 
parallel eh, to the wire and then this is reset eh, to control current in the circuit okay so you can watch this video just uh, to show you how to arrange eh, all the apparatus okay in this case we use uh, power supply to represent battery we can just uh, put one voltage let's say a uh, 1.5 volt or 2 volt 4 volt okay but normally we use a lower voltage eh, because in this experiment we want to control the temperature temperature must be constant so we cannot use voltage which is too high okay the current that we need to control is must be less than 1 ampere so this one is to prevent eh, from the for the to prevent the con constant wire from be being heated up so you can see we have this power supply represent battery connected to emitter and then connected to a conductor this one can represent the constant wire and this is the real set connect the switch and then connect to battery or power supply so this one for the series part and then for the conductor just now we connect a voltmeter parallel to it so this is the voltmeter parallel to the wire conductor okay to adjust current eh, in the circuit we can use slider of the real stat to adjust okay we just move the slider of the real stat to adjust current in the circuit because we want to produce five set of data so use real stat to control current eh, in the circuit okay now on the switch so you can see there's a reading on the emitter scale and voltmeter scale for the emitter, the reading here is 0 0.2 ampere. This one is 1 volt. So you can record in the table for the first value. Let's say the first value of current we use is 0 0.2 ampere. The reading of emitter can be controlled by using the uh, real stat. And then you can record the corresponding value of voltage. Okay, now adjust real stat so that current increase to... 0 0.3 ampere okay so you have the current now is 0 0.3 ampere so the corresponding value of the voltage you can record in the table it is about 1.4 volt huh? Now, increase the current to 0 0.3 ampere by adjusting the rheostat. So, you can look at the reading of the voltmeter become 2 volt. You can record in the table of data. Increase the current to 0 0.5 ampere. So, you can record the reading of the voltmeter 2.5 volt. So, you can continue to the value of 0 0.6 to get uh, the next data so that you have a complete five set of data okay by adjusting the real step value of current which is larger than one ampere is not suitable because you want to control the temperature of the constant ten wire so you can try this activity in the lab when you have recorded all the data you can plot a graph of v against i okay the first the first activity that we have carried out is for ohms conductor or ohmic conductor. We use constant 10 wire. Okay, the procedure just now, what you do, you just close the switch or turn on the switch. Adjust real stat until emitter reads 0 0.2 ampere. Okay, what you do next, record voltmeter reading in the table. For example, the first value just now uh, 0 0.2 <coughs> ampere, so you get the reading as 0 0.26 volt. The value of voltage, it is uh, value of V here, is depend on the uh, voltage uh, that supply also. Uh, so the value can be differ from this one depends on what, uh, what, uh, how many voltage that you use in the experiment. Okay, so for current 0 0.2, for example. We get 0 0.26 volt. What you do next? Calculate ratio of V over I. So ratio of V over I, we get 1.30. Okay. So you can repeat experiment using current 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6.
until you get five set of data. So for this table shows a reading for a sample of reading current starting from 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So we have five set of data. So the value of voltage recorded here, okay, two decimal places. This one depends on the accuracy yeah, of the voltmeter. And then you calculate for V over I. So you state the final uh, value of V over I must be at least three significant figures. Okay. Or if decimal number, two to four decimal places. So we plot a graph, we get this graph. Okay. So a graph that we get is a straight line passes through the origin. So what we can see about the relationship between V and I. Let's say replace the constant and wire is filled with a filament bulb and repeat the same step. But now the current that we choose is 0 0.20 until 0 0.40. Okay, the value, it depends on what value you choose in the experiment. Okay, suggestion here is 0 0.14. 0 0.16, 0 0.18, 0 0.20, 0 0.22 ampere. Okay, so in the table here is sample of answer. Current use is 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.30, 0 0.35, 0 0.40. Okay, and then record then, the value of V, calculate for V over I. So what you do, plot a graph of V against I. What we get here is a curved graph. Okay, what we can say about the relationship between V and I. So the conclusion based on the graph for the uh, for constant and wire or ohmic conductor, we can say current is directly proportional to potential difference V. For the filament bulb just now, non-ohmic conductor, we get a graph which is V increases with I. The graph is not straight line. So precaution for this experiment is what? The first one, make sure connecting wire are connected tightly. Avoid parallax error when taking reading of emitter and voltmeter. The pointer and the image of the pointer in the mirror are overlap. Or you can say eye level perpendicular to the scale of emitter or voltmeter to prevent parallax error. Switch off the switch if not taking any reading so that temperature of constant wire is constant. What is a function of rheostat in the circuit to control the current that flows in the circuit in order to get five sets of data to plot a graph. Huh? Next, from the graph of V against I for ohmic conductor, they want to determine the value of resistance of the constant 10 wire. So what we do, calculate gradient of the graph, draw a triangle below the line. Gradient equals to 0 0.062 divided by 0 0.5. So we get 0 0.124 volt, volt divided by ampere or volt ampere to the power negative 1. Volt ampere to the power negative 1 actually equals to ohm. Thus, gradient equals to 0 0.124 ohm. So what does physics quantity represent from the gradient? Resistance. As you can see, the unit here is ohm meaning gradient of this graph represents resistance. So once you get a straight line passes through the origin, this shows that constant gradient. For constant gradient, meaning resistance is constant. So for ohmic conductor, resistance must be kept constant. Thus, V is directly proportional to current I. So that's the difference between ohmic conductor and non-ohmic conductor. For ohmic conductor, it's a conductor which obeys Ohm's law. The graph must be a straight line passes through the origin. The gradient is constant, meaning resistance of the wire is constant. Let's look at non-ohmic conductor. In the case of filament bulb just now, the graph that we get is a curved line. When curve line, meaning V is not directly proportional to I. V only increases with I. What happens to the gradient? If you determine the gradient of this graph, you will get gradient of the graph increases. Okay, Because for curve graph, we cannot simply draw one large triangle. 
you just can determine gradient at certain point. Maybe you can just choose, choose three points and then calculate the gradient. The gradient increases. Gradient increases means re uh, resistance increases. So from here, when current I increases, potential difference increases. Gradient increases, meaning resistance of the bulb increases. So this is one example of non-ohmic conductor. So for ohmic conductor, the graph must be a straight line passes through the origin. Okay, that's all for my first video on topic resistance part 1. I will continue resistance part 2 in my next video. So thank you for watching. Bye.